Hey guys, Heather here, and I am just back from a birthday weekend, um, thrifting a couple of days. Um, I'm turning, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm turning 40 tomorrow. It'll probably be a little while before you see this, so I guess I can't just say tomorrow. The mister um, planned a whole weekend out. We had a lot of basketball for the kids, but we also were able to fit in a lot of thrifting. So I wanted to show you. It's all kind of mixed up right now. I just kind of laid it out. We shopped all day Friday, and then Sunday on the way home so we just I'll just let you know where it all came from if I remember and if not that's okay we'll just know that I got it and it's cool um, I do know that I picked this up yesterday in an antique mall in Shelbyville it's a really cool mid-century panther planter um, he does have a break on his foot but it's been well repaired and it's on the back side of the planter so you don't really notice it as much so I thought that was super cool and he was not um, outrageously expensive for what these guys usually go for. The mister actually spotted him and I was glad. Let's see what else. Um, this I got yesterday in Shelbyville. I thought the angel's face was super stinking cute. Look how sweet it is. Um, it just holds like a votive or even a tea light, but it was so cute. And I thought it was really neat because it still has the Made in Japan sticker on the bottom. I think I paid 12 cents for this, um, which is just amazing. I'm always, I'm always a fan of a super good deal. <clears throat> This we got on Friday in Noblesville, and I just thought she had the cutest little face. I love it when they have those super duper long eyelashes and blue eyeshadow on an angel. I just think that's hilarious. I think she was maybe $4. Got this little spaghetti sugar lammy. Um, has a little angel halo on, which is just hilarious. One eye is kind of weird. The other is cute. It's got that sugary coating on it. Um, it's not marked at all. It almost looks gluey on the bottom, like it was part of something else. Um, but this was all there was, and I think it was only a couple of dollars. And of course, it had to come home with me because it's adorable. We always pick up the weather owls when we find them. This, I think, came from Noblesville as well on Friday. Um, I think I paid a couple bucks for it, maybe five, um, which was a cute, good deal because I normally when I buy these, they sell pretty quickly because they are adorable. I mean, look at those eyes. <clears throat> so I like to pick those up when I find them. This was yesterday in Shelbyville. I just thought this um, ashtray was super cool. Um, I don't know, like the lighting's kind of weird in here because it's backlit. My window's open behind me. But it's like this orangey terracotta color with like a green inlay. Um, it's not marked except for it does say Japan on the bottom and it is an ashtray and there's no chipping or anything. So I just thought that was super cool. It's really pretty. Um, it says... I thought maybe it had a maker, but it doesn't. Sometimes I like to pay attention to the booth owner's stickers because sometimes they have already done the research and they, they kind of know, you know, where it's from or know a maker, but this one does not. <clears throat> I've sold this before in my shop. Um, it is vintage tinsel and I like it because it's silver and all the other colors, red, green, blue, gold, um, all kind of mixed into one. So it's really cute. It looks really cute twisted up with white lights for like that vintage feel, but with like a multicolor look. Um, <clears throat> this little cutie angel was $5. She was from, oh, where was she from? Yesterday in Shelbyville on the way home. There's not a single stinking thing wrong with her. She has little starbursts on her dress, which I love. Um, the little baby on there is so cute. It still has a made in japan sticker on the bottom which i don't know if you can see from that angle but it is right there and she still works like a dream she's not broken she's not been repaired she still has both wings her bow is good there's a cute little baby in a cradle it's just adorable so five dollars how can i leave that behind she's precious <clears throat> this came yesterday from shelbyville i actually just recently sold one of these so when I found another, I thought, well, I'll just replenish the one that I had. Not broken anywhere. The flower petals are all intact and she's real sweet. No markings or anything. I just thought it was a cute face little, little bunny. This was a cute, cute little deer. She came from Shelbyville yesterday as well. Um, I think this was like $2.49 maybe. And I wanted her, I thought initially for myself, um, cause she does fit in my little miniatures box, but she's almost too big for my miniatures box. So I'm going to leave my miniatures box for the little angels and little girls um, that I normally collect. So she's gonna be listed, um, which I'm sad because she's cute, but the only thing I really keep are cupies and those little minis, so she's gotta go. Um, so she'll be listed in the shop. <clears throat> let's see, let's see. These were from Shelbyville yesterday. 
I normally don't pick up bisque items, um, especially not little knickknacks, but these were so cute. And with Easter coming, I just thought they were adorable. So I picked them up, going to get them listed so that they can be up in time for somebody to use them as cute little Easter decor. I love the one with the little eyes closed and its little eyelashes. So sweet. I got this really neat, um, just orange art glass dish. It's like orangey in the middle, red towards the edges, kind of folded. It's got that Bulacante style um, with the bubbles perfectly evenly spaced. I don't know that it really is Bulacante, um, but I do think that that's a similar thing. I can't tell if it's broken right here or if it's just rough, but I picked it up on a whim. Um, I guess I'm paying to learn today because, or yesterday, because I went ahead and picked it up for 10 bucks. Um, I don't know if that was good or if it's just a mass market kind of thing, but I am going to do some more research on it and try to figure out too if that's a break. It doesn't look broken. That's the thing. Um, it just feels rough, but that's the only spot all around the whole edging where it feels like even remotely rough. So I don't know. I don't know. It might just be a bruise. I'm not sure, but I thought it was pretty. It was a bright color. It's got a cool shape to it with this folded edge under and then these folded edges in. So I went ahead and picked it up picked up this guy at, we were in Noblesville, oh, in Southport um, in Indianapolis, picked up this little guy. I've had a couple of these in the past and their little creepy orange eyes really always get to me. I think it was only a couple of bucks. I picked up these. Where did I get these? I think I got these in Noblesville too. Um, they're kind of like embroidery um, patterns, but they're not typical like embroidery floss. They come with a needle. Um, but they also come with like, it's like almost like thin yarn. Um, <clears throat> it just says a beginning stitchery kit. No, you know what? This came from Southport, not Noblesville. This came from Southport. Um, but I just thought the designs were really cute. Um, cute that it's stamped on there. It teaches you how to do it in the kit. And I just thought those were neat, new old stock kind of 70s vibes. My friend Haley and Alexis have a booth at Noblesville. You've heard me talk about it before. You've probably seen my other videos where I've been there before a couple weeks ago. They posted that they had restocked uh, their second booth downstairs and they showed that they had this Kewpie tea set. And I have a shadow box in my hallway and it has a bunch of little rubber Kewpies and other odd ephemera that's Kewpie. So I picked up these little, this little tea set, um, I think for $10, but this is a me purchase. This is probably not going to be sold. Um, I'm going to try to put it up on my shelf with my other Kewpies and see if I like it. If I don't, then I'll list it, but I think I might keep them because I do like Kewpies. It's such a cheeky, tacky little... Thing that I like but it is what it is so I picked them up because they were still there when we went to Noblesville which is exciting um, when we were shopping Noblesville I randomly happened upon um, this on the marketplace and the lady said that she was near Carmel which is close to Noblesville so I asked her if she could meet and she said that she could um, and so you know what though I just noticed it looks like a crack and I'm mad about it I hope that I didn't do that Maybe it's just crazing. I think it is just crazed on the top, like just a surface crack. But isn't this tray everything? The lighting in here is terrible and I'm sorry, but it's so bright, so orange, so fun. It's not marked on the back, it's just black. But I just thought that was so stinking cute. And it just worked out perfectly because we were in the Indy area. She said she could meet, so we just did. We met up and I got it. Um, this was from Southport. It still has the Japan sticker on the bottom. It's just some funny little Santas. Santa platter. It reminds me of the George Briard um, Santa platter that I have, only this one is not marked Briard. It has some chips, not chips, it has some scuffs, which I'm going to try to get out with a magic eraser, but I thought it would be really cute at Christmas time. They've got cute faces on there. I got this cute thing for one whole dollar. It is a Lucite napkin holder. Really cute little lady baking a pie in there. Oh, there's probably a glare and you can't see, but it's really cute. It's super thick. Um, it looks like there is a tag, but you can't read it. It just says made in the USA, um, but I just thought it was really sweet. Someone will like that in a cottage core style home. If, did I do a haul in my last video or of my last haul? A video of my last haul, good grief. I don't think I did. I went to an estate sale and we went thrifting in Lafayette, Indiana, me and my friend Haley, a couple weeks ago. And I picked up actually two similar paintings in this style by the same artist. It was a boy and a girl. And they were real similar to these. And they were, I think, 
It might have been $2.50 a piece, so I paid $5 for the pair. Well, when the mister and I went shopping for my birthday the other day, I don't remember, this was a little thrift shop, I think in Beach Grove maybe, which we had never been to. We walked in and the only single thing that was old in the whole shop were these two paintings and she wanted a dollar a piece. So I couldn't pass them up. They're original, um, I think it's like a lithograph. It's Medeiros, I think. I just love that cat. I love their big eyes. They're just so sweet. And I just couldn't believe that I had just come across a, a, a pair of similar boy and girl. Um, and I don't know. Let's see. You might not be able to see them because of the plant back there. But they are on the wall behind the plant um, just until they sell. Because I think their little faces are so sweet. The mister talked me into this at, where were we? Shelbyville yesterday. It's marked Carlton Ware, made in England, and the, the colorway is called Blue Royale. And it's really interesting because it's glass or ceramic, but it is almost so glossy on the back that it almost looks like a colorful overlay on top of glass. So I'm going to have to do some more research on this because it looks, looks like glass on the bottom and ceramic on the top. And it's got like an oil spill kind of look to it. I don't know. It's so cool. I think it was only a couple bucks, and so we took a chance, even though I don't know anything about that. Um, we found a new little place in Beach Grove that was pretty interesting. I think it was called Wise, Y Shop, Y Vintage Shop, something like that. I think the lady's name starts with a Y. Um, she had a really unique name and now I can't remember it. Yanel, Yavel. I don't know. It started with a Y, so it was called Y Shop and it was like a, a flea market basically or antique mall. It was a bunch of booths. Um, and so we picked up these really neat blonde framed ballerina, ballet couple pieces of artwork. This one is just a, the ballerina and then another one that has the couple. I just thought those were really neat. They'd be cute in like a bathroom or a little girl's room that has that mid-century vibe. Pick this up at Noblesville. It's Hager pottery. It's like, I loved it. Here's the reason. Actually, it's not the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. We almost put it, I almost put it back. Um, the mister was like, no, that's not really that cool. But the green on the top of this and the hints of green where you can see it, um, are just so vibrant. So I don't know. It was marked Hager USA. It's worn. Um, it wasn't super expensive. So I took a chance because I thought it was super pretty, um, in like a cottage style house. Um, use it as a planter. You could use it as a fruit bowl. You could use it as all kinds of things. So I went ahead and picked it up. Um, these little miniatures we took a chance on because there are a few of them that were so cute. I'm going to, it's going to bang on the table. I'm sorry always louder to you guys than it is in real life and I forget that um but just a few of these sold me on buying the whole set so you had to buy all 11 but there are like four or five that are super cute they're all marked Japan um this guy cutest little face little owl um a little frog playing a violin they're all playing instruments this cute little cat with long eyelashes I think he's playing a violin also um a cute squirrel with long eyelashes, violin playing. Like, what's with the violins? I don't know. They're all playing a violin. I didn't even realize. Um, a crocodile playing a violin. He doesn't have the cutest eyes. Who's this? The two elephants were pretty cute. They don't have eyelashes, but they're also playing violins. Um, what's this guy? Some kind of dolphin playing a violin, because why not? Not the cutest thing ever. The mouse playing a fiddle violin. He doesn't have the cutest sides ever. Um, another squirrel. Oh, he's playing like a, like a bass or a guitar or something. He has cute eyelashes. Another crocodile playing a violin and another elephant looks like he's playing maybe a guitar. So I just thought they were so funny. I've never seen them there. Every single one is marked Japan and I just love the ones with the eyelashes. So I picked those all up. I am struggling with not keeping the cat and the owl because they are so cute, but Alas, I do have to let things go or I will turn into a hoarder, which is not to say that I'm not already mostly a hoarder. Um, found these cute ones at Noblesville, bright yellow 70s mushroom pot holders. It's a set of two and I can't remember how much I paid, maybe six or eight dollars. They're marked 1981, I believe, on there. This came from Y, the Y place in Beach Grove. It's a perfectly good um hostess red pyrex hostess and i haven't been picking up pyrex lately but this was too good to pass up it's got like just a couple of scuffs 
And if I don't have this size, I'm keeping it. But if I do already have the size, then I will list it. Um, but I didn't pay a super big arm and a leg for it. So I know that I can list it for a pretty good deal for someone um, to be able to get it at a little bit of a discounted rate, hopefully. Um, but that is if I don't already have this one, because I will keep it if I don't already have it. I got this and I can't remember where we were. Where were we? I feel like we might have been in Beach Grove at one of the places we stopped. Um, I thought it was neat because it's milk glass. It's a milk glass water bottle. Um, it doesn't have any markings. It just says Carlton glass, but it doesn't say like country or a number or anything. Um, and I thought it would be relatively easy to find a stopper that would fit in this hole. Um, and I just thought it was really cute. It'd be really cute on a table um, with water in it. So it's got a cute little beach theme going on there. So I picked that up. I think it was only a couple of bucks. Um, the mister spotted this funny ashtray. Um, it's hand painted Odegiri 1980. Still has the Japan sticker on it. Copyrighted, so we know the age. Um, says hand painted. I like the little flowers in the bottom, the little pigs. Face is kind of cute, and it is an ashtray, so we know it's relatively old because I don't think ashtrays are really made all that much anymore. It's kind of a creamy color, pretty neutral. Um, so we just thought it was cute, and the mister spotted that, so I picked that up. This little clown, um, we are giving him a chance. We got him at the Wise uh, place. Um, he was on the way out the door. He's so dirty. <laughs> but I think if once he gets a good bath and a good scrub, all of that stuff will come off. And with the little I love you, perfect for Valentine's Day coming up, he's a bank. Um, he's got his stopper and he's marked made in Japan. And I think I only paid a dollar for him. So how could I pass him up when all, I think all that would need to happen is a little bath? I think, and he'll be fine. So we, of course, couldn't leave him behind. And then I think the last two things I got were these pretty cute little bud vases, which I think will glow, but I haven't tested yet. Um, they're kind of greenish, pretty tiny little skinny bud vases. They're not marked. I think they were only a couple of dollars a piece, but I thought they would be really cute as a pair. Um, I like the form at the top, and I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of chubby. The, the top is not like gonna easily break it's kind of chubby and then it just leaves a little hole for like one single stem in the top of both and I thought that was super neat um so I'm gonna test those here with a black light soon and of course if they are and they do glow um with a black light I'll include a photo of that in my listing on Etsy but that is everything that we found in I don't know I think we went four or five places total so that was a pretty good little haul we haven't been thrifting a whole lot lately um so that was something fun that the mister planned because it was my birthday weekend and we like to do that. So that is all for now. And um, if you're interested in anything specific, let me know, reach out. I have all kinds of things and I'm always looking for stuff for people. Um, so just reach out if you have something that you've been looking for forever because I will try to keep my eyes out for it for you too. Um, so that is all for me. Stay tuned for the next one. Take care.